So I did a review on the Amazon Basics chair and a few other chairs some time ago. I uh, did a video I said I was going to talk about seat cushions because someone who's 5'4", who struggles with small chairs that don't come up high enough and tables that are too tall and also a temperamental tailbone. These things are, are necessary to my life. So, I haven't seen many videos talking about them. So I'm gonna talk about them. So when I got this chair, I got... That's a very flat base. I hate bucket chairs. Especially as somebody with short legs, and by short legs I mean average height because 5'4 is a very average height. I knew I wanted to put a seat cushion on this because I'm gonna need the extra height. So I made sure to get one flat seat area. This was the first one I bought, it was $15. It was on sale around Black Friday, I think. And it feels amazing as soon as I sit down. See the first hour? Maybe the first two hours? It's very comfortable, it's very supportive, it's not too hard or too soft, but it goes flat, 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 so fast that I have to keep getting up and letting it get bigger again and then sit on it. Uh, when I was buying this one, I made sure to get one that said it was thick. I would honestly prefer it if it was thicker and just slightly more firm. But then we come to this thing. So this thing uh, is like a knockoff Exeter. See, it's very stretchy, it's shaky. Yeah. Now this thing is supposed to be very supportive my friend recommended it to me, and now I'm questioning our friendship. Gio, yes, this one is for you. I'm questioning our friendship because of this. It is very, very, very uncomfortable. Now, it could be that maybe I'm just too light for this. I don't think that's the case because I'm 140 pounds, which again is a pretty average weight. But this thing is so firm. It is so firm. They say it's an egg sitter. If I was to sit on an egg on this, it will break. I do not like this at all. Zero stars. I know you can't give zero stars on Amazon, but this this is zero stars. I was so disappointed when I got this. So this one is still the one that I use most of the time. I was only going to review those two, but then I remembered I have this. And this is the only one that I was able to find in the town near me. So I think it needs to be talked about. Um, this thing feels like I sit, I'm sit. i sitting on a rock. So this is a donut and it's not really for tailbone pain, which is what I have, or lower back pain, which is also what I have. It's more for taking the pressure off the, the, the lower parts. Um, but I bought it because I sit at my desk all day every day. I'm a writer and an artist, so these things are kind of essential. Now, the benefit for this is that it gives me all the height I need for a desk. When I sit at my desk, I am at the perfect height with this. This is at, what, an extra th three or four inches? It's very thick. But, watch, See, my, my head is even going out of frame. It's just so tall. And I usually sit way at the back so that it's on my thighs, not... I'm not sitting on it like a cushion and I don't really recommend this because it is just so hard. It is so so hard. This is supposed to be memory foam. The claim is memory foam. I, this is supposed to be medical grade memory foam. Unless this is supposed to make me need medicine, I don't see how this could be medical grade memory foam because I bought this in a pharmacy. So yeah, this is not quite a 0 out of 10 because I do think it has its uses but if I had to rank them this 
or one like this. I want to try one of the, the like comfy life or everlasting ones. They're a bit thicker and they have like a gel layer on top. Uh, but those were way out of my budget. <laughs> $60 for a seat cushion. Six zero. That costs almost as, most, as much as a chair. Actually, it costs more than one of my chairs. So, $60. The amount of customs taxes I would have to pay on that. If I bought a $60 chair, um, cushion, I'd have to pay like $10. Uh, no, I'd have to pay about $5 in taxes. And then when it comes down, I'll pay $20 in shipping. And then I have to pay the shipping company their fee. So. That is too much. Uh, so yeah, this one definitely, but just make sure to stand up a lot. I mean, you should be standing up every now and then anyway. Uh, then there's like a gap, and then there's this, and then there's nothing else on the list. That gel thing sucks. No, don't buy it. I hate it. Uh, I don't understand the people who love it. No, there's the purple cushion, but I did not have $100 to spend on a cushion. That costs more than both of my chairs, including this one. This one wasn't even $100. So, spending over $100 on a seat cushion just maybe one day, but that day is not today. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, I've always been looking for a good seat cushion. Um, a budget seat cushion, one that doesn't cost as much as a chair itself. Um, I know some people would probably just say, buy a better chair, but do you have any idea how expensive chairs are? Though I, I guess by the time you reach $100 for a seat cushion, you might as well just buy a better chair because there are some pretty good options for like $250, but I already have a chair. I just want a good seat cushion for my chair. I don't see the need to buy another chair just because of the seat when there are seat cushions. I just need to find a good seat cushion. These not so much. I don't really recommend them. I'm not even going to leave links to these seat cushions because you can find better. So yeah, that, that's, my, that's my stance. Get a better seat cushion. Probably don't spend $60. There must be a that a cheaper one to get or just buy a better chair um, or make it yourself I've seen some people make some well that's it uh, I did a review for my chairs and I'm hoping I'll remember to leave a link to that and I'm a writer and an artist so you would see videos about me writing while sitting in these chairs and on these seat cushions and drawing because that's all I do these days, write and draw. It's kind of, kind of nice. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Later.